Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 49-year-old male, injured themselves playing volleyball, has shoulder pain, has some really minimal findings that may explain the pain, and also a bone lesion here that is probably just incidental. So at first glance, this looks really scary, a big bone lesion. But if we slow down and say, wait a minute, let's look at the margins here. They look like they are sharply defined and lobulated. There's no perilesional edema. The bone is non, the lesion is non-expansile. So all these things point towards a non-aggressive, you know, benign bone lesion. And we see this uniform intermediate T1 signal and these little specks of darkness that are calcification or ossification on this background of this intermediate signal. If we put up a PD fat, um, PD fat sat sequence, we can see that this is chondroid matrix. It's really bright on PD fat sat, so it looks like a background of chondroid matrix and these little specks of calcification. So this is a classic example of an enchondroma with a sharply defined lobulated margins. On x-rays, these will look like popcorn lesions. They have endosteal scalloping, and typically they're non-expansile. And they can go on to pathologic fracture, and they very rarely can degenerate into chondrosarcoma. And normally they're in fairly young people, between 10 and 30 years old. This is a little bit strange that it's uh, almost 50 years old. Now they had their recent injury, um, and there's no pathologic fracture. That's the number one risk, and they do not have that. And now the question is, um, in a 50-year-old, do you have to do anything? Now these can, again, go on to malignant degeneration. If a patient uh, has an enchondroma, you're following it with x-rays. Um, if they have new onset of pain, then you have to worry that, you know, maybe it's degenerating. Again, it's very rare. Now, in this patient, they do have new onset of pain, but it's attributed to the recent trauma. And again, the lesion looks good. There's no abnormal findings that would suggest malignant degeneration. So this uh, patient's orthopedic surgeon is going to need to decide if they just want to follow it again to make sure it doesn't change or if they want to try to prevent a pathologic fracture and go ahead and um, remove it and put in bone packing. But again, this is just a really classic example of an enchondroma. That again, it looks pretty terrifying at first, but is a benign bone lesion. And thank you very much.